I just bought this hot tub. In fact, um, Networld Sports gave me this. I didn't buy it, that's a lie. <laughs> Lots of mirrors, look at myself, because you know, they say you should look at a winner the first time in the morning. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? My name is Liv Cook, and today we are here in Manchester. The guys behind the camera from Boomin have come up from London so that I can show you around. First of all, my apartment in the city centre, and then my house in the outskirts. Come on in and let's check it out. This one is quite small, it's a two bed, City centre apartment. This is the kitchen where I don't spend much time, not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever turned this stove on. I don't even think I have pans if I were to turn it on, to be honest with you. Let's go into the bedroom. This is the bedroom that I use. So I guess you call it the master room. Um, and you can tell that it's my room because I'm all over the walls. <laughs> I've not got a big ego, I swear. And then here we have the shirt that I wore to break my fifth world record. Um, framed with the certificate and I did that on International Women's Day. One of the biggest things I say when it comes to chasing your dreams and success is creating the right environment to facilitate your success and that is a massive thing to me. That's why I've got pictures on the walls that fill me with, the, with inspiration from the minute I wake up. Uh, everything makes me feel grateful and just excited and my desk does exactly that so I've got books piled high here. Um, these aren't all of them by any means but these are just some that remind me like there's still a lot more that I need to learn out there. I'm not an expert by any means. Um, this picture right here, these were my two dream cars. Uh, previously it was actually just a picture of the Lamborghini Huracan um, and that's just because I really wanted that car. And then I manifested that and then I, I still had the picture there. This is the Spirit of Ecstasy, the uh, statue thing that you see on the front of a Rolls Royce. A lot of people think it's a lady with wings but actually it's a dress being blown and um, it's actually the founder of Rolls Royce's mistress that he made famous pretty much and put on all the cars. It's a cool story though. And yeah, I don't know why I've got that one. That one doesn't mean as much as the others, I'm not gonna lie. En suite. This is the living space. So this is where I'll chill out, uh, watch TV, maybe play the PlayStation. Um, again, I've got books behind me. These ones I actually haven't read, so I think I'm averaging reading about four or five books a month at the minute, minimum. I'm just trying to soak up all that knowledge, be like a sponge, I wanna be smart as hell. So I messaged my friend, I was like, can you play chess? Uh, Mel, she's called, and she was like, yeah, I can actually. So I was like, come on, teach me. But yeah, that, that didn't last long. I think I had one game and got bored because she beat me. I don't like losing. These though, I use a lot. These are my footballs that I made, designed, and manufactured, oh my God, I went through so many samples to find the perfect balls. Um, and I've got them in two versions. So I've got the stitched, which I call the training balls. Um, you can see in the creases there, they are stitched. Then I have the official match balls, which are thermal bonded. So obviously there's no stitching um, and they are the highest quality, but they're a little bit more expensive. This is my picture. This is called the window of opportunity. I've had this for ages. When I saw the name of it and I saw the design of it, I loved it. Um, because like I said, I'm all about designing your environment to inspire you, to make you feel good, to make you feel excited, to manifest uh, things that you want. Um, and to me, having a big house like that with a massive window, a massive drive, and of course a Lamborghini was a dream. And the second bedroom, I'm not gonna lie, this is more of just a dumping ground for me to put all my rubbish. Not literally rubbish, but you know, like, just all my stuff that I don't need. This actually was a gift to me by Clive, the com he commentated on Manchester United versus Chelsea in the, 20, uh, the 21st May 2008 Champions League game. And these are his exact notes from commentating and he gifted it to me, signed it. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? There is quite a lot of complexes to live in in Manchester, but the reason I chose this one, the very reason that I moved up from London to Manchester in the first place was actually because of a very special thing on the roof. So let's go and check it out. This is the location that many of you may have seen in my videos on Instagram, on TikTok. This is my rooftop football pitch. You got any tech? You got any tricks? I do, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to do it in these shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. 
it's just hard and oh, that's right. clipper. I've never seen a camera guy with so many skills. I feel like I'm about to be on a prank video and he's like a new champion or something <laughs> here to challenge me. This isn't a property tour. This isn't booming. This is the Sky Sports. Go on, do the two Zani. Oh, okay. You got it, yeah? <laughs> you got it because he won't get it again. <laughs> And here it is, my second property. And if you actually listen, I feel like you can hear the difference. Can you hear that? All I'm hearing is birds. It's so peaceful, it's so quiet. It's the opposite of the city centre apartment. So come on in and I'll show you around. I mean, the first thing you walk into is footballs, of course. And some sliders, slippers, because comfort is key for your feet. You know, when they're the money makers, you've got to look after them. Double fridge, perfect for all my snacks, my meals. I like this, I like a good breakfast bar. I feel quite powerful sitting here in the morning, having my, my coffee, doing some emails, catching up on stuff. And actually, when I came to view this house, one of the things that I really liked was if I turn that on, you can see the lights underneath. And in the evening, it makes this like breakfast bar surface top look sick, because it's like floating. So I really like that mixed with the marble. This room is supposed to be a dining room, but again, I'm trying to mature a little bit, but I think that's a little bit too far for me, isn't it? Clearly I've not gone there, made it a dining room yet. This is actually, I don't know what to call it, more like my thinking lab or something weird, my childish room. I've got my mirror here, interactive mirror. I usually sit with um, Spotify on in the morning and put a podcast on, listen to some music. I really like that. Um, I don't work out on it as much, the novelty has worn off a little bit as people predicted, um, but I still use it for all my podcasts in the morning. Sit on my beanbag. If I've got football training or freestyle practice, I'll have a little stretch. And yeah, it's perfect. I love this room. All right, so I'm on Property Playground on Boomin's website because it is time to sort that dining room out. It needs to become a proper adult room. So if I just search dining room, I'm told that it comes up with ideas and it's quite end-to-end, -end. so similarly to Pinterest, it gives you ideas, but then you can also purchase it, which sounds incredible, but let's see. Marble dining room. So it's come up with places that look like this, it's got marble, but oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. What do you think of that? Like, yeah, yeah, that's good, isn't it? The vibe. God, this actually makes it well easier for someone like me with no design ability. <laughs> Oh wow, it actually, you actually can buy it as well. So this table with four dining chairs, all matching, can get delivered to me. Perfect for my dining room, £2,249. Is that quite good for a table? For a marble yeah. table it is, isn't it? What? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. What's average? <laughs> have a look at the garden as well while we're here. Quite easy. Though. They need to make an app like this for clothes. How good would that be? because I'm always looking at like jackets that I like, but it's like, well, where can I buy that? Oh, a hammock. Oh, I'd love a hammock. Swinging in it in the morning with my coffee. Yeah. All right, class. So I'll get that marble table for in there with four chairs and um, I'll channel my inner child by getting a hammock outside. Speaking of, shall we um, go see outside? We'll decide where we're going to put it. So if we just go outside. I actually really like this door. I can't wait for summer because they'll all open and I'll just have it open constantly. I'm still in the process of sorting it out. I just bought this hot tub. In fact, um, Networld Sports gave me this. I didn't buy it, that's a lie. <laughs> they gave me it. I've always wanted a hot tub. I'm just worried it's, I hope it don't become one of them things where I really wanted something so I get it and I need it and then I never use it. And if we go up here, we've got seating, heater. But this is my favorite actually. So this, I've not got the key for the side door on me right now. So we'll have to go to the front. But this is a garage converted into a gym. I mean, there's really no excuse for missing a workout when you've got a gym in your garage is that like, I genuinely have no excuse now. I've kind of, yeah, stitched myself up with that one. But yeah, a treadmill that I have not been slow to challenge Mo Farah on. This, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what it was at first, but it's kind of like a mix of a cross trainer and Stairmaster. It's quite good, quite like it. It's called a Bowflex. Anyway, it's actually one big circle, so we're back to the main entrance hall. 
and through here is the living room. So this is where um, I get my FIFA practice in, and I'm there beating people. I actually played in a FIFA tournament recently and beat a professional. Don't know how I pulled that off. But yeah, this is the room. My favourite bit about this, I'm going to get on it and show you how comfortable this is. Oh, this is the life, isn't it? This is what you want when you're moving out of the city centre, you're getting away from all the noise, all the hustle and bustle. This is it. I can hear the birds, got the TV on, got FIFA playing. I just need someone to bring me food now. Watch your step, guys. Football on the stairs. Which room to go in first? We'll go in the small one. So this is just a spare guest room. It's quite a small room, but I use this wardrobe here for like my blazers. I really like blazers, as you can probably tell. That's all this room's for. No one's ever stayed here. Probably never will, but it's all right for blazers. This is the master room. This is where I sit to get ready in the morning. Lots of mirrors to uh, look at myself, because you know, they say you should look at a winner the first time in the morning. <laughs> Right, someone stop me. Um, this is my main wardrobe. It's got, I, I categorise all my wardrobes. So the one in the other room is just for blazers. That's all that's in there. This one has sports stuff and then casual stuff um, and some shoes, some sneakers. This bathroom now, I'm very weird. When, when my friend's been round, she went, why is your bathroom like a sauna? So I actually bump the temp temperature up in here and it's like a sauna when you walk in and I love it. I love it. I don't actually get ready in here, just when it's cold in the morning and you can't bother getting out of bed because you're freezing. You come in here and it's just nice. Have a stand in there if you're cold, honestly. This bathroom I don't have as hot. One of my favourite things about this, I love the way the water comes out, like a waterfall. How cool is that? And this other spare room, I nearly had as the master room because I prefer the shape of it, but there were no TV on the wall, so I thought, well, you can't really call it the master room, can you? It's not got a TV. Not that I watch TV in bed, but you know, it's just, it's one of them things, isn't it? I use this as a storage room though. Um, as you can see, I like my hats. So I've got hats, bags, little travel case ready to go in case, you know, work emergency and I've got to go and like save the day in London or something. Um, I like my jewelry, I like my watches. Uh, some more bags and stuff. And this wardrobe is just for my coats. So it's just got coats and pillows and stuff. I like this third floor because when you come up, you can go left and right. I naturally always go left, maybe because I'm right footed and I play left wing. This room um, is just a dumping ground, to be honest. I think it's meant to be a spare bedroom, but I just dump all my stuff in here. You can see like I've got my helmets for my property developments. I've got all my books that I've read. I'm a big reader actually, there's tons of books there. When I was coming up in the industry, my dream car was this. And my assistant at the time for Christmas got me this because obviously I was manifesting it and it was going to become real one day. And if we just go across, this is my office. I haven't worked in here yet, to be honest. I just tell myself it's my office because it feels very official to have an office. Um, so if anybody asks, this is my office, but I do most of the work on the beanbag downstairs in the dining room. <laughs> and there we have it, guys, my two homes. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It has been a pleasure showing you around and make sure you let us know in the comments which one you prefer. Is it the bachelorette style city centre apartment or is it the bigger house out of the city, more peaceful, bigger, ready for friends? Let us know and hopefully I'll see you again soon in another video.